Today, I'm excited to be talking with Gary Kraus. He is the director of Global Mission, and he's going to be sharing with us a little bit about how we can be involved in Global Mission. There's so much happening around the world, and you might be wondering, how can I get involved? How can I be a part of what God is doing around the world? So today, we're going to get a chance to hear from him. Hi, how are you doing? (laughs) Doing great. (laughs) Even in conversations that I've had with other pastors, there's been this question of uh, what does that mean, holistic mission? Um, sometimes there's, there needs to be a little bit of clarity of what that looks like. Okay, well, I can only say what it means to me. <laughs> and to me, it's the way Jesus modeled his mission. Yes. That on the one hand, he preached and he taught and we can go through the Gospels and we can see that. And if you get a red letter Bible, you can actually see the words that Jesus um, spoke. But if you look at it, he actually spent more of his time healing the sick, mm. ministering to people's emotional and physical needs. And so on the one hand, he's sharing the good news of the kingdom verbally, but he's also demonstrating it through his actions. And so... Mm-hmm. You know, the best summary that I have seen of Christ's method is um, what what Ellen White talks about in Ministry of Healing, page 143, that I just mentioned before. You have those components of mingling, showing sympathy, ministering to needs, winning confidence, and bidding people to follow Jesus. Now, life is messy, and you can't just say, okay, I'm stage one, now I'm moving (laughs) to stage two, stage three. But it's a a whole picture, and if Mm -hmm. we neglect any of those elements, Mm -hmm. then we sabotage mission. So if we are only interested in preaching, teaching, giving people seminars, giving people Bible studies, but we have not invested in their lives, if we haven't listened to them, if we haven't wept tears with them, if we haven't laughed with them, they're going to have an intellectual knowledge of these certain beliefs that we've given them. But are they going to be grounded as disciples in Jesus? Have they have they got that network, that you know, I, I use the example of Velcro, Velcro that sticks things together. And if you look under the microscope, it's a combination of hooks and loops that come together and you push them together then you can pull them apart. And if you only have one hook and loop, maybe intellectual knowledge about Jesus, that's very easy to pull apart. But mm-hmm. if, you've, if you've had a holistic mission where you've actually, Jesus is touched your your heart not just the head and where you've actually experienced a fellow christian caring for your physical needs you feel you've got a tighter bond and discipleship is going to be that much stronger so that's what i'm talking about holistic mission not just i mean i believe in the literature ministry i think media is wonderful and and we need all those things but they can only support they cannot replace Mm. one-on-one contact. I mean, Jesus was not content to stay in heaven and send us a leaflet. He <laughs> wasn't content to, to, to send us, a, you know, 28 fundamental beliefs on a piece of paper. He actually came down here. He got his hands dirty. He put on human skin. He became one with us mm-hmm. because that's how you do mission. Sorry, I'm preaching too much. Yeah, no, I love that. <laughs> That's huge. It's incarnational. I am with you. It's not an us or them where it's like, okay, I'm over here. What can we go over there to reach them? But I'm actually here in this. This is a we. This is our. We are in this together. And I'm here to do life with you. Exactly. Such a different approach. It, um, it's instead of like, how can we change them? It's like, wow, this is changing me and we're changing together and let's see where God is taking us together. So I love that.